Are you prepared if ransomware was to attack your company today? What would be the first thing you do? And are you confident that you can quickly recover? I'm Anthony Dutra, a technical marketing engineer at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So here we are in our production cluster. This is where we are running all of our business's most important applications from our WordPress site to a couple of web pages, our social media site, and an all important file server. Set up already, we jump into the Zerto tab and see that we have protected these virtual machines in each of their virtual protection groups, all being replicated to the pair site that is the Cyber Resilience Vault. Each of these are protected with that near real-time replication for a seamless and speedy recovery. Let's dive into the file server that is important to our business. Once we log in, we're gonna click on the files folder here and notice all of the important files as well as a backup of those files that our business needs. Unfortunately, when we double click on this peculiar My App icon on the desktop, we notice that it encrypted all of our PDF files. And worse yet, we have been given a ransom to pay, demanding that we send Bitcoin to this address within 24 hours. But luckily, we have the Cyber Resilience Vault ready for us to recover from. Let's head on over to the dashboard what we will notice immediately is that we have been alerted that an abnormal encryption behavior has happened within that protected file server. What we will do next is head right down to the bottom left, click the restore button and click file to restore our files. From here, we'll select a protection group that is protecting our file server at the cyber resilience vault. And we can roll back to any of these points in time but luckily with our anomalous encryption detection is a tag saying exactly at where the suspicious activity was. This is a clean checkpoint where you can roll back and your files are safe. We'll select that clean checkpoint and click mount. Once that file level restore is complete, a GUI will pop up for us to drill down and select the files that we want to recover. We'll drill down into the C folder here drill down into our user right back on the desktop and right into that files folder where all of our clean files can be found let's select them select the windows file server to recover to and click start so now at this time the cyber resilience vault is recovering those exact files to that windows virtual machine getting you back online in operating without having to pay the ransom whatsoever. Head over to our website to learn more.